How's it going everyone? Dan here and welcome back to Dan Plays The Binding of Undertale After Earth. Still can't get over how catchy that intro music is. I'm dead serious. So you know what? We're just gonna go down the line. Um, I'm actually having really a lot of fun playing this mod just because of the music. It's, it's so chill compared to normal Isaac that I, I really couldn't stop playing it. I mean, I'm, I am playing this on a new day, but at the same time, it's like, this This game is amazing. Anyways, uh, looks like King Asgore here starts off with the soul vessel. You know, we capture the souls in this here jar. Of course, we can't pass out the annoying dog, who is no longer an annoying dog. Oh, we're on Curse of the Maze, aren't we? Never mind, Curse of the Blind. Never mind. I actually thought annoying dog was going to be an item for some reason or the other. I was like, oh yeah, annoying dog. No, no, that's just just curse of the blind. I forgot the annoying dog just signifies, you know, something trolling us every time in this mod, which is fine. So I hope you guys are doing alright today. I'm doing pretty good. And as I said, I I really wanted to continue with this mod because I actually have something to speak about today. Since I noticed the videos will probably be at a slow that will probably be a little bit slow this week. Cause I have I had an idea for what I wanted to do and then I kind of lost it But it's gonna take a day of recording because I had to work today. So All I really have time to record today is Isaac and that's why this video is here So I'm not trying to do it daily, but yet I had to do it daily well two days in a row just to let you guys know what's going on so I plan on doing like let's plays for now well, obviously, but I, the, let's play ga games that I plan on doing here shortly. We should start either tomorrow or the day after. They're all going to be like games I've played in the past. Almost like when I started on the... With the console games. Not not like exactly the ones I played in the past, but they're going to be some Wii games that I, I just want to just sit down and play some chill games for once. Compared to just playing, you know, some... You know, long winded RPGs. All oh, right, we have the jar. Or sorry, soul vessel. What's the jar? I don't know what that is. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, I just want to play some chill games. So I'm just gonna just play some random crap on the on the channel, and may, maybe even revisit a game I I played in the past, albeit very poorly. It really depends on what I want to do, but. Again, the videos may be slow for a little bit until I get back on my feet as I want. God damn it, Fire Mind. <laughs> fire magic sucks. Sometimes. Let me get a little Steven, which is fine. Okay, give me this heart. I want this. Wait, what? Why did it. That did save a half heart, right? It didn't just save a full heart? Okay. I was about to say, it just says one heart, so I'm like, alright. But then yeah, I realize it won't say 0.5 heart if I have a half heart in the, in the soul vessel. Oh, I'm sorry, half soul in the soul vessel. <laughs> oh man, that's that's gonna take some getting used to. Well, yeah, I, I, I'll, I'll go ahead and out and say it. Honestly, doing Earthbound right after or right during my whole long spiel with two Pokemon games in a row. Trying to record that on my own time was a bad idea. I even recorded a session recently and I'm going to get rid of the Soul Vessel for D20 because it's a lot more usable and I haven't used the D20 in a while and I want to kind of break the game with the D20 if we had the chance. But uh, yeah, I recorded a session of Earthbound on my own like a week ago. What is that? Is that a nail or is that a flower? Either way, I want it, but I don't kind of have a bomb to get to it. Judgment? Alright. I would love to get in there and get all of those goodies, but I cannot unless we get a bomb. And don't put the bomb on the inside of these rocks like you usually, like you usually do either. Because that ain't cool. All I'm asking for is a bomb and you want it and give me a bomb, know what I mean? Just give me a bomb. I mean, I know sometimes my shots are the bombs, but come on now. Just give me a normal bomb. As I was saying, I recorded a session of Earthbound like last week during my long, you know, break. And my thing was, I, I, I was fine for a little while, right? But after like 
not really 40 minutes or so. After about an hour, there was about a point in time where I got lost for about half an hour. And the really the only thing I was doing was grinding on screen, which is fine. But at the same time, I felt that if I'm lost, you know, if I'm just sitting there not doing anything, it's not very entertaining to watch me be lost. I mean, and I had to choose between waterfall mushroom. I feel odd. Oh, so it was a, it was a mushroom. Oh, that's a really good combination of items to get one after the other. Holy crap. I guess we can reroll these two items. Hope we get something else. That didn't work the way I wanted it to. Oh well. But um, yeah, I got lost, and then I had to choose. You know, if it comes to watching videos of me playing games blind, with other games like more recent modern games, I can usually find my way. But in a huge game like Earthbound, if I had to, if I had to think, what would people rather make? Or rather see me doing would they rather see me we're gonna take everything here by the way what does bones do by the way bone zone oh we, we just shoot bones we're freaking papyrus now that's that's awesome um, but anyway like I think people would rather see me make progress and get told some of the answers in the chat, you know, if I get lost. I mean, for the most part, I was making my own decisions on the live stream. And I was going and turning to the chat either way, because of course I read the chat. But it was helping me out, because there are some times where I just absolutely didn't know where I was going. And wandering around in an, in an RPG for hours, or up to hours on end, it's just not entertaining to watch. It just reminded me of how in you know, the new Dark Souls DLC, I had to cut out like 40, um, one of the parts I had to cut out like 20, 30 minutes of wandering because I didn't know where the hell I was going. You know, and as cool as Dark Souls 3 is, or any game is, it's not really fun to just, I thought I saw two tinted rocks, maybe not. But it's not as fun to just, you know, wander around lost for literally forever. Cause it, it's just not fun for anybody, me included. So I was just like, alright, maybe I should just stick with that series being... Where is this other Tinted Rock? I swear to God I saw one. There it is. All Golden Chest too. You know what, let's take Poker Chip. It's double down time. Or as I would say, it's gambling time. But anyway. Yeah, so I was just like, you know what, I think... I would much rather just stick to that being a livestream only series. Like I had planned to begin with. The only problem is that session I recorded, I kind of scrapped because I was frustrated. And like I said, that, that put me in the wrong mindset. It, it was just rough, though. Well, I just noticed. Hold up. Oh, wait, never mind. It's, it's playing different music because we're in, we're in Snowden versus being in the snow fields. I have to comment on that in a little bit. But, um, yeah, so that that, se that session is lost. I There was, like, a... I want to say like 40, not really 40 minute, 30, 40 minute session that got scrapped, which is not too terrible, but it is still a scrapped session. So there's, now there's a gap. And I hate when I do that, because I said I wouldn't be scrapping any more stuff. But this was in the best interest of you guys versus being for me, but it's like, ugh, I don't know. And then, I, I don't know. I, I noticed the specific part I got I got caught on and it just said you need to go here and then I went there and then nothing happened so I was just like what the hell is happening it was frustrating the most frustrating thing I've ever done in fact it's I, I legit thought about just scrapping the entire series I'm like that's just that's just being immature slash rude to the people I promised you know to play Earthbound after the last live stream series, Paper Mario, so I need to commit. It's just getting annoying when I get lost. And I was following all the cues, man. I was like, alright, this is where I need to go. But then it's like I don't it's not telling me where to go anymore. So I was stuck for a while. You know how frustrating being lost can be. Like I know there are people who have been in that same situation where they've been lost in the game. Bursting sack. That's 
fine. Perfectly fine item right there. I should have d20 that stuff back in that mob trap room now that I think about it. Uh, you know what, Timmy? I'm not gonna borrow from you this time. I feel too bad if I borrow too much from your college fund that's already at 700 when it was originally at 900 something, so you, you can have your money, friend. You keep that. You keep it, definitely. Anyway, long story short, just had a rough time. You know, I took the small hiatus not only to wait for the Dark Souls DLC, but also to Legendary Hero. Oh, it's actually the sandwich. Cool. Not only to, you know, wait for the Dark Souls DLC, but to give myself, like, just a time to calm down and figure out what I'm going to do. And I'm still going to do what I was doing, which is, you know, doing random videos and doing random games that I play and just committing to my decisions. But I just had to get my head back in the game for what I was going to do with Earthbound, because... Not like... Oh, right. We don't have empty vessel anymore. I can't fly. Unfortunate. Because that, that's affecting the live streams. And I really do like doing the live streams because that's like my only chance to interact with you guys truly outside of reading the comments. Because there's not really many comments to read. So therefore the live stream is where I get to see a lot of you guys, you know, live. Obviously. We roll everything in here. And it take... Uh, I guess take watch battery? I said we were gonna gamble with poker chip and I realized, you know what? That we can get some use out of watch battery. I think it just makes more batteries drop. Alright, so ideally if this is Sackboy, we just win the game. It's wood nickel. That's unfortunate. Alright, Timmy, I'm sorry I had to borrow some more money from your fund. I promise I'll pay you back. I promise. Yeah, that that face on your that face you're making just explains what you're feeling inside, and I understand. Mom's playing first. God dang it, it wasn't worth it. Nothing was worth. Okay, it was. Uh... All right, I'm just gonna leave him there to you know realize what has happened to his college machine. He'll never notice. He'll never notice. But yeah, like I said, live, live streams are like the only way I can interact with you guys, so... I mean, outside, I guess, outside of the comments, which I do read, and I do reply every now and again. But... Yeah, so I, I can't ruin the live streaming. That, that's just something I, that I, would, I refuse to accept out of my behavior, so... We need to get that back in order. ASAP. And that's what's going to happen this week. As for the rest of the Let's Plays, those will come out soon. That's really all I can say. Uh, I know I have a couple of games I want to play, definitely. Not to spoil you guys, so I can keep it a surprise. Even though I, I don't think people want surprises. I, actually, I don't really know what people would want. Like, if I was a Let's Play channel that was doing well, would people want me to just surprise them with what game I played or would they, would they want me to tell them what game I was gonna play before I started it that's what I don't know I guess if, since I'm a smaller channel actually telling what game I'm going to be playing just kind of doesn't really have the same effect I don't know if I told you what game I was playing next it would excite you or disappoint you depending on if you're a fan of the game or not whereas if I just upload it and say, you know, I'm doing this, deal with it, you have a choice whether or not, you know, you want to watch it or not, and you might give it a chance, but if I told you ahead of time, you'd be like, oh, I'm not going to watch that. Yeah, case closed. Tim Flakes, balanced breakfast cardboard flavor. Hmm, cardboard Tim Flakes. Doesn't get any better than that. Oh, man. But anyway. So that's what's going on in life. Honestly, today was a good day at work. The week work week is over. So we got the two-day weekend coming up soon. And that's always good because I need a break after this week. And I'm also starving right now, so I gotta hurry this up. What is this now? Piece of gaster. A piece of genius shares knowledge. What is that, though? Oh, 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 I see what it was. 
in reality, it was actually a piece of gaster. That's what it was. It was nothing else. That's clearly what it said, Dad. I mean, even though I know what item is supposed to be, be, it's not supposed to be an item. That item is not an item. You know, this is just a piece of gaster. A man who I will never really understand fits with the indie Undertale story at all. Then again, I don't really explore the, the too deep ends of the lore. I think the extent of my knowledge about the lore is what the game tells me about the lore and the game theory about Undertale. That's really all I know about Undertale's like hidden meanings and all that. Not really hidden meanings, or I guess origin story would be better off, but whatever. <sighs> is there anything else I'm missing I need to say? I don't think there is. If so, I can't remember right now, for the love of me. Wow, so many battery charges. I should probably be rerolling a lot more. Load. What does the load button do? Has there even been a load button in Undertale? That doesn't make any sense. Yeah, there's no load, but oh wait, yes there is. Oh, I know what item that is. Never mind. I know exactly what that's supposed to be. What are you talking about, Dan? It's a load button. There's no items. What they're supposed to be. Jeez. I don't know why you're making all these assumptions and shit. Oh man. All right, what you got, Flowey? Oh my God, what you got here? You got Succubus. You got, I think we're close to uh, Leviathan. In fact, I think this may give us it right here. One of these, right? No? I guess we'll take this too. Bag of leaves, play with them. Oh, 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 is this? Whoa, okay, I see you. So we know what that's supposed to be. A bag of leaves. Or a bag of petals. Yeah, we're supposed to play with them, Dan. What are you talking about what they're supposed to be? I know this charade is probably very annoying to you guys, but... This is a brand new game, you know? When you mod Isaac, the game becomes a brand new game. In fact, I don't even know what this Isaac is I even just brought up. Because we're playing Undertale right now. <laughs> oh, actually, we're playing The Binding of Undertale right now. The Binding of Undertale. You gotta add that bit to it, because... You can't mistake, you know, the original Undertale with this. You can't surpass the original. At all. Oh, man. But anyway. Alright, now everything's going well. Everything's going well. I just need to learn commitment to my decisions here on the channel. And not freak out, but... but it's my nature to worry if something's gonna be entertaining or not to you guys. If I feel like I'm gonna like struggle with something and it takes a long time to figure out what I'm gonna do with it and that I need to cut some of it out, then I'm gonna cut some of it out because I don't wanna bore you guys to death like I already do with every single one of my videos. Specifically, probably the, these videos as well. But um, yeah, I, I, I keep you guys in mind. You guys are top priority when I come to recording, you know. I do want to have myself have fun too, so, I'm, wait, I said that wrong. You guys are top priority, but me having fun is also top priority as well. You guys share top priority with, with me just trying to have fun and me just trying to chill, which is why the next Let's Play specifically is going to be a chill game. The one after that is going to be me revisiting a game I've played in the past and trying to, you know, do it better and not get it copyrighted copyright strikes, which I believe both video, both games I'm going to be playing will have copyright strikes on them anyway, so not much I can do about that. Because Nintendo is kind of a pain in the dick. But, you know, what can you do? Ooh, Flowey's Petals. Convert your soul to me. Now, I'm not gonna let you tease me, Flowey, with your transformation as much as I want it. Ow. I kind of don't know if you're gonna why why walk directly through that <laughs> like my brain was just like in autopilot right there it was like yep we don't walk right through there we don't want that anymore we want empty vessel active and that's it 
Oh god, it's Red Mom. I'm kinda curious, would, would making Mom a reskin of- What enemy could you possibly reskin Mom into to make it fit with the Undertale, like, timing of the bosses? Because, I guess technically, let's go genocide this time. I guess technically, you could make, these are not good so far. Yep, these are butt. We don't want none of these. What was I say? Yeah, technically you could... Wait, what all bosses do you even fight? Because you fight... If you go Genocide, you fight... Un or not Undyne. You fight Metaton, EX, and you fight Sans. And that's it. And then on Pacifist, you fight Al. You fight uh, Azrael, and then Azrael again, and you have Omega Flowey on the opportunity on both sides. But I wonder. I I, I bet they're waiting for Afterbirth Plus to do this. You know, they're probably gonna reskin some of the not reskin, but remake some of the bosses into the you know the main bosses of the game because you're supposed to fight seven bosses in Undertale, right? Or there's seven main characters. Which are the so-called boss monsters, etc. You, you know what I mean. So I guess you couldn't really mod mom or mom's heart into anything right now. Because that would only be five bosses, or four bosses total. Like that. And you got the two above ground, and then you got two for whichever path you choose. It's only four out of seven. You'd have to do some serious rescanning. And some serious game mechanic adjustments to make it so you fight like, you know, Papyrus and and Undyne and all that, you know. And Asgore. Speaking of which, then again, it would be weird to, to fight Asgore if you can play as Asgore. That'd be kind of awkward. Judgment. Oh, I wish you were a normal judgy. Why you gotta screw up like that? I don't know why I hung on the word screw there. Apparently I just wanted to hang. Alright. Blow that up. Why take the money at this point? We don't need it. I'm looking for reroll targets. I have the whole map coverage, by the way, and I've not been going to secret rooms, which is gonna cause me my, my downfall. Just because I'm pretty fed on, you know, the whole damage right now doesn't mean I need to, you know, neglect basic Isaac or Binding of Undertale functions right now. That was a pretty good reroll. All right, let's go back and get a charge, and then I'm gonna open those golden chests just in case it got a lot more in there. Just because we don't have Sack Boy, don't mean we can't use Sack Boy mechanics or a D20 breaking the game mechanics. We always, you know, get D20 charge, then open the chest so you can reroll afterwards if what you don't like. Out of the chest, like those for example. Because you reroll the empty chest as well. You know, I'm gonna reroll watch battery too. We need something better than that. Two of diamonds. Reroll again. It'd be fun. I mean, now, now I kind of regret it because we could probably find more batteries inside of the, uh. Speed down. Inside of the. the. the chests if I had kept watch battery. Jesus. I'm stuttering all over the place. Uh, Card Against Humanity actually would be a pretty good thing to use in that room if we want to make more stuff to reroll, but I think that'd be more effective down in the chest where all the chests we actually spawn will turn into items, but that's provided we get to the chest because we got to get there first. So let's pick up all this crap, make sure none of these are balls of steel, which they're not. They're bad trip. Why, why even take it? Why even take the pill? Oh man. I noticed something I wanted to talk about earlier, but I just forgot what it was. Oh yeah, I was curious about why the Snowden music was different, but then I realized it was Snowden and not Snowfields, because yesterday when we were on the snow level, it was playing the snow music really, really slow, like we were on a genocide route in the real game, and... I was wondering why that was. Oh, please give me 
No. Yes. Oh, so close. But we get flowery stalk. Wait, what? Did we get three? For sure, we got two. But we're flowery now, even though we can't really tell because Papy Papyrus' head is covering it up. We had Guppy's stalk, Guppy's petals. What was the third item? Oh, oh, the the other thing. What did we pick up at the beginning of the game? Guppy's thingy, my bobber. Not Guppy's flowies thingy, my bobber. That's following us around, and I'm flinging it everywhere. I don't know what it's what it's reskin to be called, cause I already done forgot. Oh well. Oh, we go to the core up here. I completely forgot what this floor was called. All right, but we finally became Flowey. Unfortunately, we can't see what Flowey looks like because Papyrus' is freaking head is in the way. So only a hope we have of seeing what he looks like is uh is getting a reroll and not getting some broken ow some more visual synergies that we don't need. Anyway. On that side though, it's a nice ton of events to turn into Flowey. We tried so hard to do it yesterday and all of a sudden we did it better on this run. And then we get dead Flowey. Just a regular flower. So we went above and beyond Flowey. Which, now that I look at it, dead Flowey as an item just seems kind of creepy, but it's just sitting there. A lot of times I, I never really knew whether to feel bad for killing Flowey or feel good for feeling Flowey. Because, I mean, in the end, I, I already know who Flowey is. But, Azure is like probably my favorite character in the game. What is this? Linguini Noodles? What in the world? I guess it's one of the worms. But I guess it's Whipworm, maybe. Oh, God. Well, this guy's supposed to die in one hit. So, this guy's not even supposed to be a challenge. See, and that, that's exactly what it was. Not a challenge. At all. Too easy, piece of cake. So what is this? The last corridor. Wow, these suck. Every every one of these are just terrible. Like, honestly, how did I get three poopy active items and then... I mean, not to say Unicorn Stomp is terrible, but right now it's terrible. <laughs> we don't have even have an orbital. And Dunce Cap... Dunce Cap is just not takeable right now. Especially with Fire Mind. That's almost suicide. I mean, would it be worth it? Probably, because, I mean, we have freaking... Oh, this music right here. Oh, it's not the exact music that I thought it was. It sounds like an ending, an ending, which I really like that thing, but it's not. This is literally just the last corridor music. It's just been a while since I've heard it. All right, we got we got to commence the D20 play that I've held Card of Humanity for, so we might as well go into this big room and pop it, break all the poops, and then oh my god, this is like a hundred million monstros in here. Come on, chill, calm down. Oh, deck of cards. Now this is gonna take a while to pop all these. Oh, we don't even have piercing shots. I don't know what I'm thinking. Oh wait, not piercing shots. I don't have spectral shots like I thought we did. Or Stompy, which we had a choice to take earlier. Unfortunate. It sounds like an ending so much, but it's not. But it's the same theme of an ending. Skirt, this is worth it. We're going for the grand reroll here, boys. Hope you guys don't mind. I should actually hurt myself so I can shoot faster because of milk, I think. Petrified poop would also be a pretty good find right now. <laughs> it's a sad. But, oddly, oddly relaxing. I better get a grand outcome out of this. I better get some soy milk or something. 
again, one of the very few times where I actually want soy milk. The game won't give it to me. The game neglects to give me soy milk when I actually want it. Ever. Oh, even without petrified poop, we getting some crazy payouts right now. Yeah, I, I better get, I, I'm dead serious, I better get at least five chests out of this. I'm saying five at the minimum. The time I just took to break all these poops. I could have been done with the run by now, saving you guys a little bit more time. But because I love you guys so much, I'm committing to the D20 mid-maxi um, card of humanity play. And honestly, it's worth it. Because this is just a test of patience at this point. And although my patience is very little, I'm still excited to say what the outcome is. Because, I mean, once we get the Sans, he's just gonna die immediately because of these, you know, flowery petals. As it should be. Flowers are freaking evil. I'm just gonna reroll all our trinkets we have, too. And then pop it. Alright. We got one, two, three, four, five chests total, looks like. Oh, and this. And a perth throw. That's perfect. No. No. Why are we getting spacebar items, man? Okay. Piercing shot. We already have piercing shots. I think the only one takeable here is Bloody Lust. I mean, we just reroll everything else. Chocolate milk, shoot the whoop. I will take chocolate milk. I don't know what this is. Determination of a heroine. This feeling won't let me die. Oh, we have another life. That was... Undying Soul. Cloudy Glasses, literally. Which, well, we know what that was. And I guess that's it. I'm gonna leave Abel. I uh, will take Abel. I heard the secret room open though. Where is it? No, no, I saw the secret room. Or I heard the secret room. Here it is. We've already been in the secret room. I'm an idiot. Alright, we gotta commit there too, because we can freaking get so many more rerolls in there. Terrible. We're, we're just getting so bad. So many spacebar items. It's unbelievable, man. I mean, not, not that you agree, because we, we've already won. In fact, chocolate milk has upped our rate of fire because I can just tap the button. But man, striking out on so many item chests, it's unbelievable. Unheard of. The act button, which we know what that is. I kind of wish I saved the Pertha room now, but things happen. Midas touch, so now we just do unbelievable amounts of damage upon touching enemies. And best bud. And two more items. Number two, why not? Quarter literally does nothing. Alright, yeah, we, we pretty much won. I'm literally just gonna run in face first into Sans and murder his face. So, um, that'll happen. And there's nothing he can do about it because Midas touch. And if I go back for Unicorn Stomp, there's even more nothing he can do about it. Alright. And Rubber Cement. Right. I haven't had Rubber Cement in a while. That should have been a good bit. Well, might as well take Shoot the Whoop. Even though I'm probably not going to use it. I'm just going to give him a whole one-two punch of Midas Touch all our flies and Shoot the Whoop. And he'll just immediately flop. Guarantee it. Guaranteed or your money back. Oh, you didn't flop. That's surprising. Damn it, Sans. Why won't you die faster? <laughs> See, that, that was the power of, of Midas Touch right there. I shot him with the laser. I didn't actually shoot my tears. This is what happens. <laughs> oh, man. So that was a pretty fun run, though. I hope you guys have enjoyed the run today. If you did, please leave a like. It does have a ton. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't, because there will always be more Let's Plays and Game videos every single day. So thank you for your time, thank you for your support, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time with some more videos. See you then.